Well, good day, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Of course, my name is Jason, and you are watching Old Car Auto Guy. Nothing's changed, just, you know, getting ready for the new year and unboxing some Christmas presents. Stay tuned. <laughs> So something that I've been asking for Christmas and or birthdays or just because for the last couple of years is exactly what my wife finally got me for Christmas this year. So from here on out, instead of me having to borrow my buddy's saw, I finally have one of my own. So what we're going to do today is we are going to unbox it and put it together. If there's anything to put together. And maybe cut some wood. So one thing I am going to do is I'm going to pull down my metal saw horses and get them set up. So that when I pull this out of the box, I'll have a place to set it on. But before we do anything, we've got to crank the heat because it's cold out here. I don't like to run those 4800 watt heaters very much in here. They draw an awful lot of power and power is expensive these days. So all right, cut. So we do have the uh, French and English owner's manual. We have got something that's got a knob on one end, it's threaded on the other. And there is your sock to catch all the uh, debris as you cut. A little clamp. And the two side arms that hold your material onto the saw. And there be the saw. In all of its pre-packaged glory. Shiny. So my guess I'm going to need two hands with this because she's probably a little bit on the heavy side. So now what we've got to do I guess is cut this big giant zip tie. That is a mighty fine zip tie by the way. And find out where all these pieces will fit in. And I like to think of myself as a pretty fart smeller so I think I can do it without the instructions, at least that's how we're going to try it first. So we find our side cutters. And give her a snip. So if you're not familiar with a compound miter saw or a sliding uh, miter saw, it's got a couple of things, neat features that I like. And the fact that it folds down fairly flat in the configuration that it's in right now. So in order to do that, there is a little locking mechanism right here that is spring-loaded. You just pull it out and that whole head will tilt up. Just like so. And in order to unlock the sliding component, you just unscrew this little knob right here. Like so. So these two little brackets here are going to be fairly simple. They're just going to slide in here like so on each side. So this piece right here, my guess is, is it's the handle that goes into here so that you can lock and unlock the table uh, turning back and forth. So we'll slide that in the front hole. way this works is that there's a little lock right here so when I pull that up that will unlock the little tooth that goes here and it will lock it in to some of the common angles such as 22.5 and 45 degrees etc but this handle right here when it's screwed and locked in no matter how much you try it's not going to move so if you loosen it and then pull this you can turn the whole device. 
So this sock is pretty easy to figure out where it goes. There is a sawdust exhaust, so to speak, out the back here. That clip is spring-loaded, it just sets on there. Just like so. So now when you're cutting, all, or I shouldn't say all, most of the sawdust will get trapped into this little bag that you can empty when it gets full. Uh, but granted, it is still open a little bit here. You'll lose a little bit, but you're not getting it blown up in your face. Now this little clamp, judging by this dowel and what looks to be the same size holes, there's one here and here and some on the other side, that this would be able to go down in there and you would tighten this up to secure your wood. So let me show you how that works. So that slides down into that hole. There is a set screw here. You just kind of turn that in and tighten it. You can tighten that in so it's in place that way. And then you just hold that down like so. And that'll secure the wood up against this piece here, the, the fence, I believe they call that. And it's also resting on the guides on the end. So I think we're ready to cut a piece of wood, guys. And one thing you should always know is regardless of whether you are cutting with anything that's wood related or metal or what have you, safety first. So you should always be wearing eye protection. I mean, I've got mine on all the time, but I probably should have something that covers the top and bottom, which I don't have. So don't do as I do by wearing your regular gla glasses. Make sure you've actually got a pair of safety glasses on. So let's give this thing a try. My, that is one mighty fine cut. So as you can see, it didn't take a whole lot to put this thing together, and I think that we're gonna get lots of use out of this, seeing how I do have to build the back steps. If you don't remember, back in this video here, when I was plowing last spring in my yard, my plow accidentally caught one of the bottom steps and tore it and broke it in pieces, not to mention the fact that it is starting to rot on several of the stair treads. Anyway, so I did do a patch job on it earlier this season, but I've got to rebuild the whole set. And uh, that's something that we will do once the weather gets warmer and before camping season, because once camping season starts, I don't want to do that stuff here. So I have a couple of pieces of old scrap uh, MDF kicking around here that I want to uh, cut up. Why do I want to cut it up? Well, it's been sitting here for years and I haven't used it. And I just want to use my new saw. I hope you enjoyed this little unboxing. And uh, if you have any questions with this, you can leave them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer your Mastercraft. <laughs> and I will do my best to answer your Mastercraft sliding compound miter saw questions. Guys, as of right now, the contest is still on till January 31st. If we can reach 1,000 subscribers by then, you will be entered in to win $1,000. You've gotta be a subscriber to win. Also, t-shirts and hoodies. As it sits right now, I am out. I sold all the ones that I had here at home and uh, they are still available at bonfire.com in the link in the description box below. I am also working on some new designs uh, so that you'll have much more to choose from in the future. And hopefully, if we can reach our 1,000 goal, I'll have a special t-shirt there for that too. Guys, stay focused on the windshield, not the rear view mirror. I love you, God bless. Let's see you again in the next upload. <laughs>